we spent a lot of time on this committee sort of looking at the, the, the big the big three or big four um, in terms of Twitter and Facebook and, and YouTube and you know in my view based on the evidence they gave us they're grossly uh, uh, underestimating the threat that's posed by this and not putting enough resources in that's very clear to me but I wondered I mean given what you said about amplification and other means in which this information is being spread particularly by the far right um, to what extent do you think that we and government and um, you know other regulatory bodies need to pay a lot more attention to those smaller um, channels in which it's being spread. I mean, I've got a report here from Counter Extremism Project, and they're talking about the use of um, Vimeo, Video Press, um, Archive.org, BitChute, Daily Motion, VK, Spreadshirt, Cafe Press, WordPress. I've even been told that TripAdvisor is being used to spread links and um, signposts to far right material. Um, I certainly know that I've got a local blog called the Panath Daily News, in which um, you know the the owner of which has some pretty sort of strong views were sharing content was allowing content to be shared on there from the BNP homophobic far right hate content um, you know online radio and podcast chat and go um, to what extent do you think that the authorities have grasped that wider diffuse challenge that exists I think the 